Hey guys, how's it going? Sitting here with Tom. And if you don't know Tom, again, you should. Awesome. Hello. <laughs> um, okay, so so much to talk about. Cause, oh. cause stuff. But first, we'll we'll begin with um, what I'm calling the the four firsts. And first one of those is what was the first album you purchased with your own money? Kiss. Uh, Alive too. Nice, nice. About my thirty-six tape recorder came with the same day. It was mono. <laughs> got to try. Got to no. do what you got to do. Um, what was the first concert you attended that you wanted to go to? <laughs> uh, nineteen eighty-four it was Twisted Sister Stay Hungry tour. Ynt, Mom was nice. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I was a little young for that, but I mean, I remember that album. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I never, I never saw it as a sister. Hmm. Um, what was nice? Oh, what was the first instrument you acquired? It was uh, actually me and my brother, my brother Rich. I got a guitar, and when we got a drum set from my my aunt Mabel, who could not stand my cousin <laughs> playing it, so we had a huge house. They gave it. To us. There you go. So it's kind of sat in the corner. I couldn't figure out the guitar. I was mm -hmm. just a mess. I kind of like basic chords at best. And Rich, so I just swap here. You take this, I'll take your share of the drum kit. <laughs> and there you go. Right from there. So, so it's like the Van Halen board. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then finally, what was the first band you joined? With my brother Rich called Voyager. We were like punk kids playing. It was all mm -hmm. uh, Judas Priest. Everything we're talking. God, we started <laughs> way early. Like uh, we used to put on Kiss makeup and play the records. Nice. <laughs> so, nice. so it goes back away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nineteen eighty-two was my first professional gig. Proper band. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, okay, so so I want to go through kind of your history, but first of all, you were just in California. Yes. Very, very special event. It was great. <laughs> so, uh, it might not. What, what that was the uh, Metal Hall of Fame in nice. Anaheim, California. Um, Thor was invited uh, by. Uh, we were able to do the red carpet. We did mm -hmm. interviews and stuff. It was insane. I got to meet so <laughs> many of my heroes and just to be treated like that, you know. Mm -hmm. I get that every now and then, but then I have to go back to work and. <laughs> oh, nobody! <laughs> you know? Yep. But, yeah, it was great. And. You know, Matt Hamilton from Texas is now in Thor. And oh, nice, nice. He got to really... Experience. Yeah. Then. It was a lot of fun. Very cool. Yeah, I was looking at some of the pictures going, God damn. Yeah. Oh, and... Ah. Vinny Apice, the grandpa, it was... Nice, nice. Um, so, so why don't we just kind of go through how, how you got here? Like, like so when, did, when did you start playing drums? When did you, you know, first kind of... Well... I guess there's always been a structure in me, you know. Mm -hmm. um, in second grade, um, for Christmas, we were doing the little drummer boy. I was the only one in my class who could keep a four. So immediately, <laughs> my mom said I used to beat on pots and pans when I was a kid. So um, I was in school bands. I already knew how to play by the time I got in the band. I was mm -hmm. junior high. Uh, my band director did teach me how to read music, which was that's the trade-off, I guess, but I could already <laughs> play, self-taught. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then, you know, me and Rich really, my brother took music seriously and went for it early, like late junior high, early high school. Mm -hmm. so, very, cool. Yeah. very cool. And then we just go from there. Um, so, so how many active bands are you in right now? Currently, just the two. I did, did a fill-in for Donna Valor last uh, Monday yeah. with Ross the Boss. That was pretty fun. 
got my power metal on. <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to ask how the show went. It went great. Um, the sound on the stage, I hear it outside, it was great. <laughs> on the stage, not so much. I'm, you know, from being an in mm -hmm. impaler and all that, I'm used to being on the fancy mm -hmm. one in the back. I didn't have that. So I'm on the floor and can't hear anything. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. It was a little interesting, but... Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Amsterdam is a. I mean, I've only played there once and seen, you know, a handful of shows there, but but it, it's not a bad little joint. Yeah, yeah I like <laughs> that place. Um, so so Hex is is your more local kind of yep. band, and then Thor. Thor is the uh, touring international one. Okay. Um, uh, you want me to talk about Thor? Or? Well, I mean, how long have how did that? How long have you been in Thor, and, and how did that kind of happen? Okay, well, um, <laughs> I was an impaler for over eighteen years, and we'll talk about impaler yeah. in a minute. <laughs> uh, one of the one of the shows we did um, it was the Zombie Pub Crawl, mm -hmm. and um, it was uh, Donna Valor, uh, impaler, and then Thor. Nice. And, uh, when you play those events, you get locked in. You know, mm -hmm. you you have to get there really early and have all your gear set, but then you're stopped for hours. So, you know, I just <laughs> I remember seeing him back in the day and mm -hmm. kind of, you know, seeing him bend them steel radio nineteen with Peach and Chong, and it was <laughs> it was ridiculous, but yeah. super cheesy. I took metal very seriously, and didn't really give him much of a break, which which sucks. Like. Came to, came to grips with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And um, so we did the show, or just early on, I just, we went over to the depot and just sat with him and he mm -hmm. won me over. He's a super cool dude. Nice. Um, and there's a lot of songs I like, like Only a Strong. There's a lot of cool songs off that. Um, didn't really follow him through the years. But you know, after we did that show, I remember. And Paler's playing, and I get a tap on my shoulder. You know that <laughs> curtain is. This is Seventh Street entrance. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I think Aaron Carter was in the main room. The <laughs> <laughs> competition. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> and get the tap, and he's in full armor, right? You kick ass, like, dude. That's <laughs> getting praise from the son of Asgard. Nice, that's pretty cool. Nice. Um, then uh, how I got in was it's. I'll say right right now. <laughs> Me and Bill Lindsay are friends. We mm -hmm. got we got over our mishap. So fair enough. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, I went. Why was that? And uh, I got really mad, and I said, "Well, I won't." You can fuck this. I'm. Mm -hmm. And it was you know we lost Kyle. He fired Kyle without really talking to us. I felt he was just taking over, and it was, it was stupid. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I took a, a break at work because I, I lost my ever loving mind, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I, I got to go and decompress. Mm -hmm. So I did that. I came back, apologized profusely to my coworker <laughs> for, you know, detonating pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I got the call from John Leibel that Thor wanted me to join that band. Like literally, <laughs> like I don't even know how to process. <laughs> it's not <laughs> karma or what is, and that's just ridiculous. My first show <laughs> with Thor was Pori, Finland, with Testament, and Napalm Death. <laughs> not a bad gig. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go back a little bit. How, mm -hmm. how did how did uh, you and Bill and, and Impaler? I'll get together. Um, I worked at Ticketmaster at the time. Um, some of the bands I was in, The Unholy in particular, mm -hmm. opened for Impaler a couple times, and I got to be friends with um, Brad, mostly, okay. and Eric. And Bill, you know, I, I didn't really know him yet, but I know, you know, he was, you know, he'd recognize me, I recognized him. That was cool. So I had extra kiss tickets. This is Psycho Circus. Oh, okay. Yeah. I said, well, you know, Brad was going to come and join us in Cedar Rapids. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, next year we want to invite Bill. <laughs> so, yeah, we all went and had a great time. And I found out that uh, Mike Robertson from Quincy Punks just joined the band. Like, I didn't even know you 
looking for a job. <laughs> you know, right? He just came up. I was like, really? You wouldn't try out? <laughs> um, when I came back from the show, they called me and I threw out poor Mike, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. <laughs> you know, we know how that goes. Um, so, so 18 years in Impaler. Yeah. Uh, we, like, standout shows. Oh, my guys. God, there's so many. <laughs> I mean, there's so many. Um, my first show was, uh, we were on that Jack Koshik Metal Fest circuit. Okay, yeah, yeah. So my first show with Impaler was at Paramount Theater in New Jersey with Iced Earth, Primal Fear, Opeth, um, Dimu Borgir. God, there were so many bands on that. <laughs> Cannibal Corpse, this Arch Enemy. This <laughs> Again, what? <Yeah. laughs> like, I have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Akron being my first band in the cities, you know, that was the first 10 years. And then, mm -hmm. you know, we, we did really well locally. Um, but it just kept stepping up, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Impaler was, yeah, pretty definitely, big deal. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just watched uh, a thing on uh, Impaler. Somebody shared it about the whole um, uh, Peter's brothers. That yeah, back in the '80s. Yeah. And I, I watched. It, I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Phil did a great job on that. That was awesome. I guess kids with the crazy guys. That was, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I mean, you say you took it seriously, which, and, and no offense, in my mind it's kind of weird joining a band like Impaler, which kind of seems almost very I can see. I will say this about Impaler. I think it's one of those bands that everybody should see at least once. Oh, yeah. Like, it's not really my thing, but it's like, I saw them, and it was good for what it was. Yeah. You know, um, I happened to see them on, on the, the Krampus show. Two years ago? No, okay. Um, with a uh, uh, dumpster juice and and, sure. and I don't know who else was on that show. But. Wait, dumpster juice? Was I in the band? Uh, you might have been. Okay, <laughs> and it's more because uh, I've been in Thor for three years. So, but they do a lot of shows with dumpster juice. So, I'm not sure. Was I know I did a Krampus show at that VFW. Yeah, up on VFW, and, and I think it was because it might have been. Because I think it was within a, probably a year after that was the first time I saw Hex. Okay. And that was at a Halloween show at the terminal, and you guys were dressed as the gnomes. <laughs> the gnome <laughs> show, yeah. And, and, I, and I saw I don't the largest drum kit I've ever seen on that stage. B, they're dressed as garment gnomes, which is awesome. And then you started <laughs> to play, and I was like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. So so okay. So you went to Bill doing your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, whatever happened with Bill happened with Bill. We won't get into that. Um, and then how about you now? Everything yeah, I mean, good. all good. good. Yep. Um. So how does how does Hex? Um. So I had a band called Elder God, which was okay. crazy technical. I don't even know how you categorize <laughs> it. There was nothing in four four. It was very hard to play. We had weird, we used phosphorescent makeup, uh, weird symbols all over. I created like our own alphabet and we'd mm -hmm. write things all over ourselves. <laughs> and heavy robes, which I wasn't part of. I was on tour at the time with Impaler, mm -hmm. and Jim Shaw, the guitar player, hired a costume designer, which gave us fucking burlap robes. <laughs> oh my God. Try playing your drummer. Imagine wearing a burlap robe. I don't like want to drum in long sleeves. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, can't imagine doing it in a row. That would suck. Especially playing the, the, that kind of stuff. That yeah. would just be murder. It was. <laughs> yeah. I'll, after this is over, I'll show you a video <laughs> of what we did. It was insane. <laughs> I loved it, though. I mean, it was very. very wasn't fun to play. Mm -hmm. When you're on stage, it's like taking a math test. Because you really have to be on your game. You mm -hmm. derail, you're done. Oh, yeah. Um, but after you know, if it went if it went well, and it usually did, mm -hmm. we go, man, that was great. Um, yeah, and I'm sure from the audience, it looked awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had fans from all genres. Death metal guys liked us. Thrash guys liked us. Hmm. Yeah. We put out uh, two records on um, the ZBR. Cool. Yep. Um, so look for those if they're still available. Maybe, so yeah, scour your cheapos. If you <laughs> yeah, <it's> just, <laughs> day zero is the one. 
Um, second one was a lot better than the first. I like the music, but the production is kind of weird. Mm. Um, so we broke up, and there was a kind of a falling out between some of the members. Mm -hmm. Not me, I'm adorable. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, immediately upon doing that, Andy Oltmans, who I've been friends with forever, he was on Cold Colors, you know, for blood and climactic, mm -hmm. he immediately calls me like, dude, let's jam. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, it was me and him, and we had uh, Jacob Voss from Elder God with us at the time, and Tara Stinkovich, who was the singer for Elder God, okay. under the name Ra. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, it was slow, we, Revival Fires being the first song we worked on together. Mm -hmm. Um, pretty much, uh, Jacob didn't have time for it. Um, Terrace was living in uh, Grand Rapids, uh, so practice was not happening. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, we just we decided, well, we, we're going to try it another way. Uh, Jacob just bowed out. He, he just was too busy. We got Dan Nelson in, mm -hmm. and then Tim Morton at the time, who was from Cl uh, Climactic and mm -hmm. uh, Dying Euphoria. So. With us for a while, and, uh, good friends. They still are. <laughs> <laughs> you know where I'm going. With I think it. So. <laughs> um, they could press each other's buttons so easily, and just if something went wrong, and you would say, "Tim, I just want to punch you in the face right now." You'd say it to him at practice. Like, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be one of those. Yeah, yeah. And, and no, Andy, the little bit that I do, yeah, I can see him. He's yeah. a great guy. I no, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's very misunderstood at times. There's people <laughs> that think he's really moody. He's not. He's, he's a awesome dude. Yeah, yeah. So then there's Mr. Hamilton, who. Mm -hmm. um, Back in the Elder God days, well, first I met him <laughs> at the ZBR, one of those uh, meetings. Oh, yeah, yeah, And uh, yeah, ended I, up I, having... I've heard legend of Yeah. <laughs> we decided we're going to have a show together up in Superior, and it was his band at the time, uh, These Worlds Collide. Okay. And no offense to the band, <laughs> <laughs> um, I just saw Matt and go, holy shit, that, that guy's amazing. And just, uh, there's a lot of, I mean, Greg and Zach, they're, they're really good players too. Mm -hmm. But immediately I honed in on Matt and mm -hmm. like, that guy's awesome. And uh, I was trying to figure out, it'd be <laughs> awesome to play with that dude. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. That guy's um, awesome, how do we get him? <laughs> so he and I were friends and we'd have our little burger parties, you know, so mm -hmm. go hang out and have beers and burgers. And uh, his wife was with us at this this time and she goes, and he was on the, I think he was c contemplating leaving Cold Colors. Mm -hmm. He was in Cold Colors at the time. Okay. So, um, we're having lunch there, and uh, Stacia goes, I really don't want him to do any other band, unless it's yours. <laughs> and immediately, <laughs> I tap my finger, <laughs> and, um, you know, they took a break. I called Andy immediately. <laughs> like, dude, I got the guy. <laughs> and I was so happy because I thought he was going to. He learned our set. When he came to the, the audition, mm -hmm. we were show ready, pretty oh, much. <laughs> so, and yeah, he's one of my best friends. So I'm glad. I'm so glad he's with us, and in Thor now. Now I can oh, that's and do that kind of stuff yeah. with him too. Yeah, so. yeah. No, uh, again, I don't know uh, Dan or Matt all that well. I've met him a couple times, but I mean, yeah. everybody in that band seems awesome. Dan is great too. <laughs> yeah. We're my brothers, you know. Very, I'm so lucky to have these guys. Um, the new material is going great. We're super nice. stoked. Nice. So. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so I think that brings us up to date. Um, so why don't we delve into uh, what are your some of your favorite fellow vocal bands that either you played with or you want to play with? Or so many. Um, <laughs> which again is a loaded question because we could talk about that for three hours. Sure. <laughs> Uh, well, Agony Reigns, I, I think mm -hmm. they're, they're great. Um, I'm going to forget some, and that's going to suck. Well, you can use the wall for reference if you want. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah, pretty much. we got a great yeah. scene. There's so many great oh, bands. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Played with all of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tons of great bands. Um, let's see. Um... I'm blank. I'm blank. That's terrible. What a question to ask me. Put me on the spot, why don't you? Um, well, I'll say all, all of them. 
I could I could throw out some of my new favorites because I've been introduced to a lot of stuff lately, like like Black Panther. I'd heard them, but I'd never heard them before, and I saw them at uh, Eagles Thirty Four show. I was just like, yeah, it's 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 kind of. You guys, it almost sounds like, almost like hardcore. It's very hard, but it's very like jittery. stuff, but it's very kind of, it's cool. Just like that. Yeah. Um, Witch Den, I like them. I still have not getting gotten into Witch Den. No. Uh, <laughs> no. I, I mean, I've heard, I mean, I've heard the new album is supposed to be just incredible. Yeah. Um, well. I'm not yet, but. Um. I mean, that, then, you know, all, all, every single band Juan has been in, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's got a rock and roll <laughs> project where he's singing, and it's all in Spanish. They're right next to Hex Fortis, who's on the same night. <laughs> and we put down the walls on each other. Nice. Um, usually, uh, <laughs> That's open or anytime. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll go any of them because I know there's a ton of closed ones that people just. Yeah. Avoid. Well, being the old school guy, I am, <laughs> there was nothing better than the Mirage. Oh, I that would was, agree. I uh, would agree. Um, first few times I played there, there's a plexiglass. You, remember, you, you do remember the place? So the, the pool tables upstairs had that plexiglass. I thing don't on think it? I ever went upstairs. No. No. Okay. okay. And you're on the temporizer. And uh, we used to headline that place all the time. Macaron did open for Sabotage there, a bunch of bands. The snare, when you hit the snare, mm -hmm. tap, tap, oh. tap, tap. You get that like the split second yeah. echo. Yeah. So the first time you play that was uh, <laughs> our first time we were with Injustice, a long defunct band, but mm -hmm. they were pretty good. Um, yeah, just I wasn't ready for it. Like, <laughs> what is that? It's like something feeding back. <laughs> That's like a the echo off that plexiglass wall, but all of the bands I've seen and get to play with is um, pretty much every fight. I remember seeing fight there, and it sucked because you know obviously <coughs> it was a big deal. <laughs> and to see those Tascam monitors, and you can see Judas Priest painted over. Oh, that was a stab. Yeah, you know? that that kind of hurt. Fight was great. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, King Diamond is uh, Merciful Fate, tons of bands. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a little bit younger, but I do remember the Mirage. Yeah. Um, probably the best show I saw was uh, Pantera on the Vulgar Display Tour. Okay, I saw Pantera there with. I actually got the video from Darlene. <laughs> <laughs> she used to run the place. Yeah, and I guess what? Open. I hey, found look that at on, that! On Facebook somewhere, and I'm like, I need that. Nice. <laughs> Let's study that. See if Akira's on there. <laughs> I was in that band. <laughs> yeah, and I was drunk for Yeah. <laughs> Old war horses. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was that was a fun place. Um, the only time I played there was when I was going to uh, Music Tech with Smith, which is now rock ensemble showcases there. We played there, I think, three times. Fall of 92 through Fall of 93. Mm -hmm. So, I remember, the, I remember it being really nice. It yeah. actually had like, a, a green room, which is nice. Yeah. Um, for a, you know, 18-year-old kid, that was like, you know. <laughs> I was in this corner. I have videotapes of Akron back in the day where chairs were flying through the air. It was insane. We had this sound man, Lou. He, we had this song with a lot of double kick at the start. And uh, he goes, yeah, play that song. And he's walking around and gave a thumbs up. That meant it hit 109 decibels. <laughs> 120 is a jet at close range. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> Lou knew what to take off. <laughs> it was that but, yeah, great sound man. Um, People don't like Station 4, but when you tour and you see all these venues around the country and you mm -hmm. come back, it's a, it's a sparkling diamond. <laughs> 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 I've played some dumps that I didn't even want my drums to touch. Um, yeah. 
Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Never been, so can't say. <laughs> <laughs> At least that club. Yeah. Um, I probably should have name. We go in, the guy's got a rifle. The And he's just holding it around. What do you boys want? <laughs> We're, We're here to play. <laughs> well, he wasn't, you know, like, he, yeah. just, he was just holding this gun, just matter of fact, like, okay. Do what you gotta do. It smelled like a. Uh, body. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, we could t we could talk about Lee's and how much Lee's was great. Miss Lee's, yeah. Again, only played there once, but it was awesome. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'll miss that. The Rock was great. Mm -hmm. um, God, all these awesome venues are just gone. Um, First Avenue's still great. I love playing there. It's hard to get in there these days, but mm -hmm. they don't really like the metal so much, but. Yeah, yeah. A lot of places don't, which is unfortunate. Got to play the quest a couple times. That was great. Nice. With Moss, not so great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they were fun. <laughs> it wasn't the the our part of the show was fun, but I lost kind of respect for the. the I, I've heard Rocky Palace is kind of an asshole, and yeah. that's putting it lightly. Well, Belladonna <laughs> was one of the opening bands. Really. And uh, yeah, we and, he and I kind of, you know, we were kind of buddies for a while. And then got busy in Anthrax, and, well, yeah. and that was that. But he'd <laughs> but send <laughs> he'd send me demos from his basement and he'd sign it like you're a great drummer and all this stuff. Like, whoa, <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, so that was nice. I had to buy the paper DVD link. <laughs> you can, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And then you have, you know, all the clubs that the bands that I'm in play, like, you know, Club Underground and the Terminal. And yeah. We haven't played a Hex Gun yet, but I'm sure it's on the list. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, nothing wrong with dive bars. I love dive bars, but, you know, when you cool. play when you play the same, like, four plates, and yeah. that's all you play. <laughs> Actually, Hex will be playing the Hex Gun in April. Hex of the Hex. Yeah. It's in my neighborhood. I kind of like the easy go. <laughs> um... And now we're 1459 moving, what, like across the street from there? Oh, yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was funny. Uh, we'll segue into gear now. Uh, when Strike 13 did, did our single at 1459, and I was talking to Will, and we were setting stuff up, and somehow you got brought up, and he's like, oh, yeah. Because he was talking about drum mics, and I'm like, so do you have enough mics to do Tom's kit? And he's like, yeah, I found like you know a bunch of them cheap somewhere and picked them up like a week before they they decided to break. So okay, <laughs> and so we used a lot of mics. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Because how 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 long? Nine, ten? It's a nine piece currently, but it's okay. normal. I when I before I well, an endorsement. Let's, let's go through the history. Yeah, that's that's. <laughs> so I got an endorsement through um, Huntington Beach, California. Okay. The, the Predator series, which is what I'm playing now. Okay. Uh, it's a 12 piece. I'd have a 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 2 kicks, and then my Vinnie Paul snare drum. Nice. So, <laughs> three rails, and pretty much I didn't fit anywhere mm -hmm. in the cities. And Sound Man would look at me like, what the fuck do you want me to do with this? <laughs> so you'd hear, you'd, I could even hear through the monitor. <laughs> So, some would be loud, some would you just, it was all over the place, and it yeah. gets really annoying. So I stripped it down to a nine. I only play a nine piece now. <laughs> yeah, I think the last time I, I saw a video of you from somewhere, I'm like, he's missing something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, have, I bring my own mic so they can't complain, but they still do. Like, we don't have enough channels. So i got to get a snake now. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon you're bringing your own board. Just go, oh, my God. Um and then and then do you have a simple endorsement or a reference? Oh or? I'd love to, that'd be nice. But maybe they will. Yeah, yeah. Um I kinda go instead of going by having a set brand mm -hmm. like I go by what sounds good to me, like, oh I like that I like the sound of that. So I got Mostly Sabians. Mm -hmm. I have the Sabian hand-hammered 15 
my head. Um, I got shattered Zildjian here, which sucks. Oh, that's <laughs> my phone. Um, two Sabians on top. Uh, hand hammered Sabian there. I got a Zildjian K Dark Ride. Nice. And I got a Peisty Signature um, China. And then my splashes are Zildjian A's. Oh, very cool. Yeah. 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 Um, I was a hardcore Zildjian guy just because everybody around me, Yeah. you know. But then I discovered Sabians, and I'm just like, dude, Sabians are awesome. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're better for the angrier player. I, yeah. I love Zildjian, but I, I shatter them. They don't last me at all. Yeah, I went through a period before I, probably before I learned proper technique, where I was going, and I, I was using uh, a thin crashes too, which is probably a mistake, and I went through, burnt through a bunch of those. Yeah. Um, and I have, I mean, I, I was using AAX explosions for a while, I mean, I still am. I still have a couple, but I've broken a couple of those. I've broken some A customs too. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. What sticks do you use? Um, right now, I'm using. I just got some new ones, and I got the Promark. I think it's a Promark. Uh, what is it? The not the 747s, but the the the. They're like a five. The, right, five e, five B a little bit longer. Okay, um, whatever those are. But usually I just go a five B extended, you know, yeah, X or whatever. Um, what about you? A two B. I like the Billy Club. I need to. <laughs> Therein is how I just <laughs> there you go. And and what is because uh, something and they were talking about you know, making drummers and doing little sticks and I'm like when I first. The, the first teacher I had told me to buy two Bs. Really? Yeah. That's like a field marching sna a stick. Really. Yeah. Also, well, not as light because actual marching sticks are like yeah. nothing in your hands, and two Bs are more solid. But so I'm like, that's. I mean, it makes more sense to start out with a smaller stick. But this was, you know, back in the early to mid '80s. So it have been a different, different thing. But yeah, it's fun that hard. Yeah, I do use Promark. I just get the two B nylon tip. Yeah, I, I I use nylon tip for a while, but then I discovered if it falls off, you're kind of screwed because you got the little little point there. Yeah. When and a bunch, of, and I'm like, yeah, I'll just go to wood tip. I mean, wood tips shred too. Yeah. And it's the same kind of deal, but I think wood tips last a little bit longer. I usually don't like it. Vader Vader tips fly off on me. Mm -hmm. um, I've had good Promark. Yeah. And I mean, I, w I was a Vic guy for a long time. But I ran into like a bad batch because yeah. I broke like five sticks during like three shows. And I'm just yeah. like, yeah, what the fuck? Um, but poor much just seemed feel a little bit more solid. Yeah. Um, plus Neil used them. Plus Neil used them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what kind of pedals do you use? I have uh, Iron Cobra. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I had them for a long time. It's still, it's the original, like when they first came oh. out. Ones, the, uh, the DW ones before, mm -hmm. the good ones. But I could <laughs> never. The plate, like right next to, the, like the hinge, always come off, and it'd always be at shows. Huh. Never practice, always show. Well, of course, always show. <laughs> and once it goes, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then you're kind of. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm a DW guy. The very first pedal I bought, and, and you're old enough to remember this. When DW first introduced the little pedal, it was the earlier thing, the, the L shaped. <laughs> I went around not knowing it didn't come with a with a master pedal, <laughs> and, it, and it arrived. I'm like, what? The f oh, I guess I have to go out and buy a pedal. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I've I've always used double pedals, always, always. You're happier at the end of the night, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Listen, you don't, you don't have this gigantic thing to squish in your car. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and hopefully it's fun. I'm yeah. playing the cover band. And, I mean, I put double bass on I Will Survive, bass on fucking anything. Nice. And it fits. And I just like it. But, but <laughs> <laughs> no. It just kind of adds that extra. Mm. Yeah. But. Huh. Um, yeah, so what do you got? Anything coming up that we should... Uh, let's see. Well, Thor, we're back out.
playing Pacific Northwest at the end of this month. Okay. Doing Seattle on um, the 28th, Portland the 29th, um, releasing the new album, mm -hmm. Rising. Um, which is, we have two songs on it. The current band has two songs on it, and then he's wrote stuff with all over the, the world, really. Oh, nice. His okay. guy's from Sweden, you know. Mm -hmm. Marty Gummison is a really cool dude. Um, yeah. So we got two on there. You'll be able to tell when you listen to it which <laughs> ones we are. We're, the, it's, you know, we're a little edgy is the word, yeah. I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, Hex, March 31st, we're opening with for propane at Whiskey Junction. Mm -hmm. That's um, pretty good. Yeah. Um, we're, Hex has really been working, so mm -hmm. we're taking the winter off. No, we don't like winter gigs. I don't think anybody likes winter gigs. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, taking advantage of that. Dan's been busy with work, so it's, it's worked out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I think we'll get a new hex this year. Early. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> uh, there's three completely worked out music songs. Mm -hmm. um, which the they're the blow away. I'm so happy when I hear them. I'm like, oh my god! It's I mean, Revival Fires was, you know, it took five years to record it, pretty much. Yeah. Um, I don't know why we took so long. <laughs> everybody's doing things. You know, we had the mm -hmm. member change, and you know, I wanted to. That's the only band ever I've been in that took that long to make the record. But you know, people waited for it, and it was great. We had our yeah, it was totally worth. We had our free demo. I guess we did yeah. have yeah that we did have something, but so but it's nice to have the the finished album finally. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Although I misspelled your last name, and I'm sorry about that. Well, <laughs> I, I, I was just going to bring up the whole album and and my first shout out on a on another band's record, which I yeah. greatly appreciate. But it's so awesome. I don't know why I was thinking. <laughs> I know better now. <laughs> so, so for the next one, yeah, no, just for kidding. the next one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, nah, that's all good. I mean, and it's 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 weird that this uh, I don't know if it's reputation or clout or whatever it is that I kind of apparently have now. It's 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 a weird feeling. Yeah, because I was I was always the guy in the background. You know, don't look at me. I just want to observe. And I mean, I, I had uh, Andrew from a uh, Dissel Descent on last week, and he was saying how you know. The scene is so cool, and, and he likes being something to the effect of you know being elevated to his higher status, being interviewed by me in that higher status. Hmm. And I was like, okay, yeah, there you go. <laughs> but you know, I guess, I guess that's the for me with you know, did he? I asked if he uh, if he could fill in, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, he knocked it out of the park like he would, and he. You asked if you know you ever needed my help. Let me know. Mm -hmm. And right there, he got hired on. So he's doing these gigantic events, and he's <laughs> not ready. <laughs> he's doing great with it, you know. Just I know he's overwhelmed. Like holy shit! <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Because you know, I, MPLR was national, so mm -hmm. I I got to do a lot of that stuff. So yep. not that I'm king shit by any means. Oh, just no. you know. Yeah, you're you're, you're yeah. more adjusted to it, right? Yeah, and now you get to see the newbie going, ah, yeah, <laughs> and, and it's cool to watch because you know I remember, remember I remember being there. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's cool though. Okay, so we'll end this with this: all the national tour, international tour, and you're done. Yeah, <clears throat> what is what is or what was the of all your favorite big bands? What was have you gotten to do shows with? And possibly meet and talk to him. Well, um, <laughs> so last year um, we played the South Park Festival in uh, Tampere, Finland. Okay. And it was the uh, Halloween Pumpkins United tour. Mm. Um, Except was on the bill. I got to hang out with Except. <laughs> There's Amorphous on their home soil, which was great because nice. they love Amorphous. Um, Michael Monroe, we were, we were uh, Ghost was on the bill. Mm -hmm. Michael Monroe, who is. You know, he's from Tampere, yeah. Finland. He was on the small stage. <laughs> Thor was on the big stage. How did that happen? I felt bad for him. Like, oh my God, I'm scared from Happy Rock. Yeah, he should be 
there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Sonata, Arctica, Beast in Black, all of those bands are on that show. It was Very. in front of uh, estimated 20,000 people. So it was really intense. Yeah. I don't think anything could ever top that. <laughs> well, no. No. Um, Get to do direct support for Twisted Sister with Impaler. That was 2006 at uh, The Myth. It was really cool. He gave us props on stage. How about that Impaler? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very so, cool. Yeah. I'm, I can't even fathom like being, you know, first band on at 11 o'clock in the morning and, and one of those festivals. It's just beyond me. <laughs> and then wrap around, everyone's taking pictures with you. <laughs> so after that, getting back to Hex, mm -hmm. we did that big show, came back and played uh, the in New Germany in front of 20 people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keeps you grounded, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think the largest crowd probably maybe maybe 75 people. Anything bigger than that would just be like you know, insane. But we can dream. Yeah, well, for sure. I know Outlaw Saints' uh, big goal is to get out to churches. Oh, yeah. I think they would understand us and they would like us. Um, and even doing that would be really cool. Because never, it's just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> to try, I think they'd probably be booking now for that. Get on that. Uh, <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, I think we think we covered everything. So, thank you, sir. Thank you. Pleasure having you. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Maybe, hopefully, if I can get someone else to come up here. <laughs>